can 3D printing filament be used as strings for a guitar or any other string instrument? If you don't know what filament is, it's basically how the printer is fed plastic so it can make things. There are many types of filaments for 3D printers. I got my hands on a bunch of samples. They'll find out which one is best and if they work at all. If you like this idea, hit that subscribe button. Anyway, the reason I'm doing this is I'm moving towards making a 100% 3D printed guitar. As you can see, I already made 3D printed tuners. So far they work great. If you want to see more about these, they are in my previous video. So let's get started. First one I'm using is PLA Pro, which as far as I know is the most common 3D printing filament. Well, it works. I was kind of scared it would snap on me, but it works. Next up, ABS. It snapped the second I put it in, so no. Next up is PETG. I think this is also a no. This one is a cleaning filament by Isan. Use it to clean the printer. I'm not really sure what it is, but let's try. This one failed right here. If I stretch it anymore, it will break. Now to this guy. Next up, ASA. Okay, looks like another one works. I'm gonna try to stretch a little more. I should probably learn to play one of these days. PC Plus. I'd say this one works too. I'm just about to take it off and I noticed that it's failing over here. So maybe not. Next is PA. I'd say this one works too. Next is PEI. I'd say this one sounds the best and it's the loudest so far. Next is Pips. Back from the old days. If you know what this is, you've been printing for a while. Well, I was just tying the knot to fasten it on to the guitar pin and it broke, so no. Next is TPU filament. I'm stretching it forever and it's not changing. I was winding the string for a really, really long time. So far it sounds like a rubber band. Okay, I think if I wind it anymore, my hand is gonna break. I believe if I wind it more, it could get louder, but I'm not gonna spend 40 minutes winding each string. I'd say PEI sounds the best and the loudest. Now the challenge is if I set up all the strings, how am I going to change the pitch for each one? Maybe I can use a different filament for each string according to the pitch I got from them, or I can try extruding it through the printer with different sized nozzles. But that I'll do a different day. If you like this video, please let me know. Leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you want more. See you later.